So tonight, I'd like to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart, and that would be the BLM movement. Um, yeah, that's right, because bright lights matter, okay? We need flashlights that work and work well in my industry. So what do I do? I'm, I, I work in the heavy equipment, you know, earth moving equipment, um, field service. So I start early in the morning, well before sunlight, you know, and then sometimes well after dark. So it's important to have flashlights that work. So I just did a video, check out the link up here on the, um, this is the Milwaukee, the 800 lumen that just came out September, 2020. This is the 2160-21. And this light I've been using for several weeks now. So it's actually been field tested. I've actually dropped it and it's been wet. It's been hit. And you know, one thing that I was concerned about was the battery life. Now this is the new Milwaukee um, Red Lithium. It's the 3.0 battery, um, but it's still the Red Lithium USB platform. But this light has been really, really good. Um, so I'm not always running it in the high setting. I'm running it more in the low setting because the 100 lumen setting seems to be working well for me. As a matter of fact, I was on a tractor the other morning and it was too bright. I tried to turn it down and it was already on the low setting. So yeah, so the 2160-21, um, like I said, check out the review and this has been a really good light. So I figured if this light was good, I had to go get the 21, what is this one? The 2161-21. So this is 1100 lumen. So it uses the same battery as the 800 lumen one. Almost identical body. I mean, they almost, it's a little different, but um, they put the USB port under the button on this one and the USB port above the button on this light. But I figure if this one's working so well, let's give this one a shot because this one, the 800 lumen does not have a focus flood and spotlight. It's just one setting and it's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a mix between a flood and a spotlight, I guess. So anyways, this one, oh, um, so yeah, it works the same way. You see, it's still got the micro USB, which we already talked about. I hate the micro USB. They should have went to type C. Come on, Milwaukee, someday we're gonna go. Um, some people complain about how tight this is, but this one is actually smooth as glass. I mean, that USB port cover is just, works really smooth on this one. Um, belt clip, I hate them, but they pop right off. So no need for the belt clip on that. So this has three settings. What are the lumens on this? 1100, 600, and 100. So I'm sure it works just like the other one. Ooh, that is bright. God, that's press and hold. And that's the 600, press and hold again. And that's the 100, press and hold again. Full on, so we Okay, so the outside ring actually twist, okay, to a spot, and then to a flood. That is really cool. I think this is gonna be a really good light too, and the thing is, is that I actually test these lights. I mean, hardcore, full of, you know, grease, hydraulic oil, dropping in the gravel, kicked. They fit well in your pocket. You know, they both use, like I said, the same battery. Um, I like the little glowing LED around the button that tells you what the power is. So green is 100%. Um, and then yellow is kind of like the, uh, I think 10 to 50% and then red is it's about to die. So um, this light, $80 at Home Depot, where this light $70 at Home Depot. So is this one really worth 10 more dollars? I'm not sure yet because I haven't tested this one in the field. This one's awesome. Does everything I need to it do. It's, you know, it, it, that 
the, the way the light is focused, it, it's perfect for whether I'm up close or a little further away. But um, I really like this feature of the focusing option on this light. So, and it's a little bit brighter. We're going to take them outside and test them. But we're also going to test it against the Stinger Streamlight. Um, the reason we're going to do that, because this is a very popular light. I've been working with mechanics pretty much all over the country. East Coast, North, Midwest, West Coast. It seems like everybody has a Stinger light. Um, I think the reason for that is, is either e these are easy to get off the tool trucks, Mac, Matco, uh, Snap-on. They all carry these lights that I've seen. Um, lifetime warranty on this one. Now, the Milwaukee's, they say they have a limited lifetime warranty, but if something breaks, I'm not sure if I can just walk into Home Depot and get another one, you know, without a receipt. I'm not, I never tried to warranty anything Milwaukee from Home Depot. You know, you usually have to find a service center or something. So we'll see how that goes. Now, the Stinger Streamlight, I broke a uh, lifetime warranty. No questions asked. I just go to a Batteries Plus. I mean, there's Battery Plus everywhere. And, um, they were able to fix it one time they fixed a button for me and then one time they gave me a whole nother light so these are very solid proven very good very bright they last a long time the only thing i don't like about these is they have a big clunky charger you know you can run it off 110 it comes with a cord to plug into the wall for 110 or like a cigarette lighter so you can mount it in your truck if you wanted to but it's kind of hard to snap them in that charger and pull them back out and that's the only downside, the only main thing I don't like about this. But the battery lasts a long time. These are just super, super lights. So you can get the light with the spare battery, um, the charger, and the cord set for $130. It's usually what we find them for on uh, online, on eBay or Amazon. But um, So we're going to test these three lights outside. Just kind of show you the difference in how bright they are. And, which one I would prefer to buy if I only was to buy one light. That's going to be a tough decision. I'm not sure because I I know I like these two. I've already I've been using this one for God 10 years. This one I've only been using for a couple weeks. But um, I really, really like it. And then I think I'm going to like the focusing aspect of this one. So let's go outside and see uh, see how they kind of compare with each other. Okay, so the first one we're going to test is the Milwaukee, the 800 lumen. Um, geez. So that's the 100 lumen setting. And then on high, so you've only got two settings on this light, and that would be the 800. Okay. 100, 800 off. All right, now we're going to look at the Milwaukee, the new 1100 lumen one. Turn it on. Okay. Check out that focus. That's that's what I like about this light. So if I'm out, you know, hunting or out in the woods or something, I would probably prefer to have this light. The focus is really good. So that's the 1100. Let's drop it down to 600. And there's the flood spot 100 yeah maybe you could read a book with that but not much else <laughs> 1100 all right so that's in the spot now I'm going to turn this one off and turn the 800 on right behind it and see what the difference is so okay that's 800 1100 man you know there's gosh it's really hard to tell the difference I mean I can see that the 1100's got a little more but not not a huge difference 1100 800 yeah not a lot of difference okay now Let's check out the Stinger. So it's kind of a different type light. It's more white um, light, and it's got a very long range. 
on it. So there's the Stinger. Now we're going to go with the 1100 Milwaukee. Wow. I like that True View light and setting on it. It's more of like a. Oh, <laughs> but look at the. Look at how the Stinger just drowns out right in the center of it there. Eleven hundred on the fence, so definitely more of a spotlight on the Stinger. Definitely a white light, but very bright, very impressive light. And the eleven hundred again, and let's do the eight hundred one more time. Yeah, the eight hundred, eleven hundred. Well, there you go. So that's the first time I've compared all three lights together. That's the first time I really compared the Stinger to one of these True View Milwaukee lights. And you can see the difference. The Stinger has that real white, you know, old school LED, but it's bright, very bright spotlight um, as opposed to the Milwaukee that's got the True View. And, then, and they're very, they're very bright, although I like the focusing of the um, 2161. I don't know. I You can tell it's just a little brighter, but not enough to justify... I don't know. It's only $10. So maybe if I were to buy one light, it would probably be this one just because it has the option to focus. It's just got that little extra feature. I mean, $10... And you're talking about seventy, eighty dollars. I, I don't think that's. So if I had one light to buy, it would probably be. God, that's that's a hard choice. If I if I could only buy one, it would probably be the one that you could focus. However, I think the eight hundred lumen without the focusing capability is going to be my go-to light. It's a little bit smaller, um, you know, a little bit shorter, easier to just kind of drop in your back pocket or something. Um, or front pocket maybe but so yeah let me know what you think I mean you know how well I mean have you used any of these lights and, and what do you think about the stinger compared to the Milwaukee light if you were to buy one um, you know the USB charging capability of these is definitely much easier than the big clunky charger on this one so so yeah um, like I said tough choice the 800 lumen will be my go-to but if I could only buy one I think 2161 with the focusing capability would be the one I would buy. So, thanks for watching. Bright lights matter. <laughs> Fucking BLM, you sons of fucking bitches.